Welcome to the precinct of the 12th district in Greenwich Village, where the 70 Seconds TV series Barney Miller captured the essence of the era with wit and authenticity. Airing from 1975 to 1982, this show turned the mundane into the extraordinary, focusing on the daily grind of a New York City police squad dealing with the quirks of the city and its diverse inhabitants. The brilliance of Barney Miller lay in its ability to blend comedy with societal commentary, portraying the human side of law enforcement. With a talented ensemble cast, led by Hal Linden as Captain Barney Miller, the series delved into the lives of detectives tackling crime while navigating their personal struggles. The show tackled taboo topics of the time, addressing issues like drug addiction, homosexuality, and racial tensions in a manner that was both thoughtful and humorous. Its strength lay in the balance between levity and seriousness, offering poignant insights into societal dilemmas without losing its comedic edge. Barney Miller wasn't just about crime solving, it was about the camaraderie among the characters, their idiosyncrasies, and the way they bonded in the face of adversity. It was a portrayal of everyday heroes facing the challenges of an ever-evolving cityscape. Now, here's the question for you. Do you have a personal story or a cherished moment from this series that impacted you? We'd love to hear your memories and experiences in the comments below. Abby Dalton initially portrayed Barney Miller's wife Elizabeth in the pilot of the series. However, when the show was picked up, she was replaced by Barbara Barry. Alongside Dalton and Barry, the original pilot featured actors like Abe Vigoda, Charles Hayde, Rod Perry, Val Bisaglio, and Henry Beckman. These changes in casting before the series launch highlight the intricate process behind shaping a show's dynamics. Dalton's departure and Barry's inclusion played a significant role in defining the on-screen relationships in the series. Later connections between actors from Barney Miller and Reinhold Weege's Night Court demonstrate the interwoven nature of the television industry, where actors often find themselves working together in different projects, forming a shared legacy across multiple shows. Such transitions and connections in casting underscore the fluidity and evolution of television programming, showcasing how initial choices can impact the overall trajectory of a series and influence the future careers of its actors. In a highly unusual departure from a conventional TV series, Barney Miller was deliberately staged as a theatrical play using only one set. Out of 170 total episodes, all but 13 were filmed exclusively on the ABC Television Center set, featuring the precinct, the office, and sparingly, the restroom. This unique approach provided a consistent and intimate backdrop for the show's narratives, emphasizing the contained yet dynamic nature of the police procedural. The deliberate choice of this single setting fostered a sense of familiarity and continuity, contributing to the show's distinct identity and enduring appeal. The use of a singular set allowed the audience to immerse themselves in the daily lives of the precinct's detectives, creating an environment where the interactions and cases took center stage. This intentional design also showcased the impressive talents of the cast and crew in maneuvering within a confined space, utilizing it to its fullest potential while maintaining the authenticity and depth of each storyline. This creative decision not only streamlined production logistics, but also served as a testament to the show's focus on storytelling and character development over flashy settings. It enabled a deeper exploration of the nuances within the precinct's walls, effectively capturing the essence of the series and contributing to its legacy as a groundbreaking and enduring television classic. Two iconic items from the set of the 1975 TV series Barney Miller found their way to the Smithsonian Television Museum after the show concluded. The chalkboard, a simple yet pivotal prop used to signify the on-duty or off-duty status of the precinct's policemen, became a notable artifact. Alongside it, the scarred cell door, witnessing countless scenes and stories within the precinct, also found a place in the museum. What makes these items unique is not just their on-screen significance, but also the additional names etched on the chalkboard, the names of the show's crew members, highlighting the collaborative effort behind the scenes. Moreover, the museum boasts other memorabilia like the police badges worn by the actors, and even Jack Sue's memorable coffee mug. These artifacts stand as a testament to the show's impact, preserving tangible reminders of its legacy for future generations to appreciate. 
Cliff Burton, the renowned bassist of Metallica, found inspiration to pick up the bass guitar at the age of 13, courtesy of the distinctive jazz bass line that kicks off the iconic theme music of a certain TV series. This show, known for its captivating storytelling and distinctive characters, not only drew in viewers but also left a musical mark on aspiring musicians like Burton. What set this series apart was its original format. The episodes were initially taped before a live audience, infusing a vibrant energy and spontaneity into each scene. However, as the show progressed, this live element was phased out in favor of a more controlled production environment. Delving into the characters, Detective Nick Yamana, portrayed by Jack Sue, bore subtle references to the Broadway play and film Flower Drum Song. Sue himself had significant roles in both, playing Sammy Fon in the film and MC. Frankie Wing on the stage. This TV series from 1975, with its impactful theme music and evolving production techniques, became a cultural touchstone, not just for its storytelling, but also for its influence on budding musicians and its nods to theatrical works. It remains a testament to the enduring impact of television on popular culture, showcasing the intersections of music, live performance, and character portrayals that continue to resonate with audiences. Steve Landisberg, known for his stand-up comedy work, transitioned into a memorable role on the beloved show Barney Miller. Landisberg's journey from stand-up comedy to his portrayal of the dry-humored detective Arthur Dietrich showcased the multifaceted talents of the cast. His comedic background infused Dietrich's character with a distinct wit and a deadpan delivery that became a hallmark of the show. Landisberg's evolution from stand-up comedian to a beloved character on Barney Miller exemplified the diverse skill set and contributions of the actors to the series' enduring success. Steve Landisberg and Ron Carey guest starred as felons before joining the regular cast. Their transition from guest appearances as criminals to becoming integral parts of the main ensemble showcases the series' knack for incorporating talent in unexpected ways. Landisberg and Carey's initial roles as felons evolved into their prominent characters, adding depth to the show's roster. This ability to identify and integrate talent from guest roles into core positions exemplifies the series' approach to character development and casting choices, contributing to its enduring appeal and ensemble-driven storytelling. As the curtains draw close on this discussion, let's linger in the nostalgic glow of Barney Miller, a timeless gem that wove tales of camaraderie, wit, and everyday moments into the fabric of our lives. For many, this series became a comforting hearth, a place where characters felt like old friends and laughter echoed with familiarity. Think back to those precinct corridors bustling with the vibrant energy of its diverse ensemble, their quirks, and jests becoming etched in our collective memory. Perhaps it was the dry humor of Detective Fish or the sage guidance of Captain Miller himself that resonated deeply with you. Maybe it was the show's unassuming charm or the way it deftly navigated serious topics with grace and wit. What moments made you smile, reflect, or simply sit back and appreciate the magic of storytelling? Share your cherished memories, the episodes that linger in your thoughts, or the characters who felt like companions on life's journey. Your voice adds depth to this conversation, enriching the tapestry of experiences woven by this remarkable series. So, take a moment, indulge in reminiscence, and join in this celebration of Barney Miller's lasting impact. Thank you for lending your thoughts and memories to this reflection. Your unique perspective enriches our understanding of this beloved show. Until we meet again, stay captivated by the stories that shape us.